If like me, it takes you ages to actually create images for maybe social media or a website, you will like this tutorial. I'm going to teach you how you can automatically create these images using Banner Bear and Zapier. And it'll only take you five minutes. So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, so first step, let's go ahead and sign in to Banner Bear. You should have this screen in front of you. We're going to want to go over to projects. And for this case, we're going to go and create another project. I'm going to call this Twitter. Press save. And you should see this screen in front of you. With your settings, you're going to have an API key here. We're going to use this in a minute to connect our Zapier account. And you should have a templates page with some templates in here. You can start from scratch and create a design yourself, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to go down and we're going to grab this one here. I'm going to call this and add this template to the project Twitter and press save. Cool, so we now have a template here which we can now use with Zapier to automatically generate an image based off of some content. And for the purpose of this one, we're gonna use a new tweet by us. Now we have this template, we can go over to Zapier and make a new Zap. Let's name our Zap. We're gonna call this Twitter2. Banner Bear. And then for the first step, we're going to choose Twitter. And the trigger event is going to be my tweet. Press continue. Connect your Twitter account. Add it if you haven't already. Press continue. And press test and continue. For the second one, we're going to connect Banner Bear. And for the action event, we're going to create an image. Press continue. To add a new Banner Bear account, press add an account, and you should see this screen here, the project API key. If we go back into our Banner Bear account, back into our projects, into your settings slash API key, copy your API key and paste it into this box. Now you've connected your banner bear account, press continue. Now we have some options to actually customize the template which you just created. So first in the template ID, we're going to select the Twitter demo square which is the one we just picked. And now we have a bunch of options to actually customize this image from the first step. So if you scroll down, you can see a bunch of fields. In the avatar, we're going to choose our profile image URL. In the name, we're going to choose my name. Actually, we're just going to change this to use the screen name or the username. We go for username. The handle text is going to be our screen name. The tweet text is going to be the text. And that's it. If you press continue, you should see that it's actually going to create this image for us here. So by pressing test and continue, we can actually send this request to Banner Bear using the information we provide in our tweet. So if we press done editing, our zap is ready. And this is as simple as it is to actually create an image from a tweet. So now if we want to check this, we can go back into Banner Bear. We go back into our dashboard 
and we can actually see if this has worked. If we go into Twitter, and if you scroll down, you see we've had an image generated less than a minute ago. And here it is. It's taken my most recent tweet about how each day can be stressful at the moment. It's obviously included some links because this is a share from Instagram. But it's taken my name, my avatar, and my handle, and then added it into and created an image. That's how easy Banner Bear is to use. You can use this for all sorts of things like creating cover images, creating share images, or social images based off of information in a spreadsheet or a tweet or wherever else you keep it. Now that it's got a Zapper integration, it's really easy to do. So hope this tutorial is useful and looking forward to what you're going to use it for. See you later. Bye.